Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Today, I just want to show you a very short uh, tutorial about how to use a perspective warp. Uh, perspective warp and this particular thing that we just want to do use yes perspective warp so I just want to show you how to use the perspective warp in Photoshop so let's just go into it so the first thing I have to do I have to come and perspective warp sometime if you want to do something that you need uh, this kind of uh, let me use this yes Sorry, let me just open it up for its own. This one, there is a box, but you want to put this particular image in need in such a way that it will come over here, come over here, come over here, come like it will make it very good. It will just align with the edges of this box, but you don't need to be stretching and stretching it that is not how we do you have to use what we call perspective warp to to do that so the fun that particular function called perspective warp and what you need to do now is that there is the box that you want to clip in that particular thing. so first of all what I have to do is to go and import that particular image there it can be an image, it can be numbers, it can be anything. So the next thing I have to do is to resize it. Resize it. Okay, it's okay for me. Then you can resize it more. It's okay. Then the next thing you have to do is to go to edit, come to perspective button, then you click on it. Then what we need to do is that make sure that this one is selected, this particular image the image is selected but not the box so you click the edge over there then you have something like this then you do what you do the layout you move it over here then you move this one over here you can zoom to do it very nicely so that you have a different issue at the end of the your doing yes so the next thing you have to do is to move this one to over here then this one you move it down to fill that particular gap then you check the edges then when you do this you have selected it then what you need to do is to warp it so you come and click warp over here you leave the layout and come and click warp you see that it has changed different thing all together so what we need to do is to warp it on the listing so you let it come over here to get a distance clear you can decide to reduce the opacity so that whilst you are doing you can see the edges of that particular box so you move this one to over there then you come and move this one over here then we come and move this one to okay so after doing this you have done it then you can return to 100 percent then you come and click okay simple so you see that that's what we use perspective we use perspective warp to do this kind of lovely thing in packaging in products uh, branded and those kind of things yes you can't you can't you do another one you can't bring it in and then let me see this image okay let me use the same image then you bring it over here then you click then you go to edit perspective then layout then you click then you click over there uh, reduce the opacity to get what you are really doing okay so okay oh i supposed to click over there so let's do it this way so that let me close this one to get this one okay so there is that so let me move this one over here so 
what I need to do is let me just have this one. So come on, close perspective, then perspective, then you click over here, then you move it over there, then you move this one over here, then you move this one over there. Make sure it it aligned very well. Yes, it's important. The alignment is very important to your brand. Eh? So you come over here, then do it. So just zoom it, zoom it to get the correct this thing. Yes, this way. Okay. Yes. So the next thing is go to click weapon. Then you see this one should go down there, and this one should come over here. Then this one should come over here, and then this one should go over there. Make sure you zoom it to get the crew very very warm okay so we'll make it just try and make it very good one for your client to love you so then you click okay so we have something like this then we have something like this you see that so this is how we use the perspective warp uh, function on photoshop Thank you very much for watching have a nice day watch out for next tutorial you can tell me which tutorial you need the kind of design or the kind of function that you want me to use in photoshop bye bye have a nice day